Hi guys, so you may be wondering why this video is starting off showing me holding a water bottle in front of a tap. The reason being is I'm, I'm going to show you the alkaline water test, the pH test, and the first thing I need to do is actually fill up this bottle with some water so it gives it a bit of time to start alkalizing it. So I'm just going to fill it up, make sure it just submerges the filter a bit, so we'll just give it just enough. Maybe even pour out a little bit just to heighten the effect, let it uh, alkalize in a little less water. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to do that, just give it a little shake, and I'm going to let it sit in this uh, bottle for a little bit. Just give it, oh, probably uh, a good solid three, four minutes if I can, if you can bear with me and just watch through the test. Uh, what I have right here are pH drops, so what I'm going to do is fill up these two glasses this one's going to be filled with the water from the energy water bottle, the alkaline water bottle. And this one's going to be filled directly from the same source that I filled the bottle with, which was my reverse osmosis water filter. So um, I'm going to add that water now to the cup. We'll get about the same amount. I'm just going to do a little bit, just so it's uh, a bit more of a tangible effect. We'll do just that much. Just a small amount of water, nothing crazy. And then what I'm going to do is add drops from this pH tester bottle into the water. So I'm going to add about, uh, let's see here, I think five drops is good enough. So we'll just do one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So hopefully you saw that. I'm just going to give it a little spin just to kind of get it mixed in there. Okay, so um, right here is a pH tester chart. So as you can see, when the water is quite, uh, with the tester, if it comes out orange, it's highly acidic. Uh, five is about yellowish, and then once you start hitting green, it's six, seven, eight. Purple is actually nine, ten. Um, just so you know, uh, in the past when I've used the alkaline water bottle here and tested, uh, leaving it overnight in the bottle, it's gone to like a pure ten. It's gone extremely purple <laughs> uh, doing this test. So uh, hopefully I'm gonna make another video Actually, I plan on making another video where I'll actually leave the water in the filter for at least an hour and then I'll, I'll show you exactly what comes out. Um, and I'll actually use the same water that I just put in just for continuity effect and just to show that I'm not doing anything with the water, I'm not adding anything in particular, I'm just leaving it as it is and just to show uh, with actual evidence that it is in fact alkalizing the water in addition to all the other benefits that it does. So. Uh, without further ado, so if you want to see now, this water is about a 5. If you can see that, it's just lightly yellow. Um, I would actually say it's somewhere between 5 and 6, given that uh, it gets kind of darker red as you go lower, so it's probably about 5.5, I'd say, somewhere around there. It's um, quite light, the yellow, it depends on the angle. Let's hold it up here. You can see it there, almost like urine. <laughs> so there you go, so that's reverse osmosis, um, fairly acidic water. Um, not to denounce reverse osmosis at all, I think it's great, but uh, the, one, the only real downside to reverse osmosis being that it's um, fairly acidic, and uh, part of that being that it's deficient in minerals. When you min mineralize water, uh, you do alkalize it, so that is sort of why it's like that, and that isn't Another issue with um, reverse osmosis water being that it's uh, deficient in minerals. So over time it's believed that it will actually leach out uh, minerals. So uh, in the end, ideally what you want to be doing is purifying your water and then re-mineralizing it. Um, people throw around the term alkalization and that's great, but um, the alkalization is coming from a result of mineralization. Uh, which is in fact what this water filter is doing is it's not just simply changing the hue of the color of the water when i uh, do these tests it's actually in fact adding um, micro uh, i guess on a molecular level almost uh, giving off molecules uh, alkaline molecules which are in fact minerals uh, coming off of the stones inside uh, the filter and there's a variety of stones as I show on the website and they give off different benefits. Some are just focused purely on mineralization, some help with filtration, some help kill bacteria. Um, so it, it actually affects the water in numerous ways 
a lot of different benefits, basically everything you hope to get out of water. Um, I would still recommend adding filtered water to it, ideally. If you don't have filtered water and you have to use chlorinated water, it's still, uh, based on the testing I've done and having people try it, they found that the water tasted fresher out of here and less chlorine, uh, there was less of a chlorine taste. So it has uh, huge benefits in a lot of different ways. So now, uh, I figure that's been hopefully long enough. Um, generally, when I fill up with water, what I do is I'll wait about five minutes. Um, more often than not, what I do is actually fill it up. I'll start drinking out of it. I'll let it pretty much empty out almost all the way, but there's a bit at the bottom which has been uh, alkalizing for a while, so now I just add more water and then same thing over and over. So gradually what happens is that you end up diluting the water that becomes very alkaline in this bottle and then you're just pretty much always getting highly alkaline water. Anytime you add water to it, you're just simply diluting it a bit. So if it's been sitting there for a few hours, it's going to be up to about nine point something on the alkalinity scale. And then if you dilute a bit, uh, I find you'll bring it down to maybe like a 7.5 or an 8, which is great. I find that's a, a bit better. Personally, I wouldn't recommend just drinking it straight after it's been sitting in the bottle for, you know, several hours because you want to, you know, drinking 9.0, 10 alkaline water is, uh, in my opinion, it's a bit too alkaline. Uh, I like drinking anything from 7 to 8, 8 being really good. So, okay, so that should be enough time. I'm not going to blabber on anymore. I'm just going to show you guys the test. And, okay, so that's a decent view. Oh, sorry, just bear with me. I don't want the tripod to fall over here. And, okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> this tripod does not want to agree with me today. Okay, I hope that's gonna hold. So, I'm opening up the bottle, and um, I'm going to add the water, you can see here from the bottle, just a little bit. So it's actually maybe a little more than this in the other cup. That's good enough. So, we'll even just dump out just a little bit, just to get things balanced out. I say it's about equal, a little bit less. Okay, so now I'm going to add five drops, just as I did to the reverse osmosis water into the cup and we're going to see what happens okay there we go so one two three four five mm, there you go i'm not sure if you can see it well from that angle but i'm gonna give you a different angle so granted this was maybe what four minutes five minutes of it sitting in the bottle. So and already we're seeing a color change. I'm gonna make another video so you can see the drastic color change that happens when it's been sitting there for a good solid 30 minutes to an hour. Um, so let's put them together. I'm gonna drop down here. So do you see that? So the green uh, that's coming off on there, it's about, I'd say it's gone up to maybe uh, from where it is in the other glass being about 5.5. .5. It's easily gone up to probably, it's probably jumped up about once, up to probably about 6.5, I'd say. Uh, if it had been given another five to 10 minutes, it would probably go up to about 7.5 to eight. So from the top, you can see the darker color. Again, I put in five drops in each one, so everything is equal. There's no uh, tricks to this at all. This is exactly what the water filter does. So if you've uh, bared through this video and you've actually stuck it out, I recommend you watch the other one if you haven't already that I'm going to do where I just show straight out what happens when I pour the water from this bottle that's been sitting in here for a good solid, I'll leave it another 30 to 50 minutes. I'm going to pour it out and you'll see it's going to turn this color instead of just green, it's going to go further up in this chart and it's going to become either a darker blue or even purple. So um, there you go, there you have it. That's all the proof you pretty much need. Um, all the other information is on the website, just talking about what else is happening uh, to the water. Uh, if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to shoot me an email or contact me. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Highly recommend it. Ever since I actually started, ever since I got one, um, I've been using it nonstop. Literally, I'll just add all my water to this thing now. And uh, I have never looked back. 
So that's all for today. Goodbye for now.